Now, those are some typical measures of success. They may not be yours. But however you define success, communicating well is key to getting there. And the proof of that is, as you look around, you can just see that in virtually every area of our lives, the better communicators are the ones who are more successful. Well, there was a sales team, small sales team, 10 people or so. They were on a month-long sales contest. And this was not one of those, you know, first place, new Cadillac, second place, steak knives, third place, you're fired sort of contest. This was just a fun one, a friendly competition. So they get to the end of the month, they're having their regular meeting. The manager gets up to announce the winners. There were two winners. So everything's fun, upbeat, until he says this. So now, if the rest of you slackers were as smart and hardworking as these two, maybe you'd have been up here. Okay, so to review, you two, great. The rest of you, lazy and stupid. <laughs> I see this is not good. Who here has ever been pulled over by the police? Can I see a hand, please? Okay. Uh, who here has been pulled over multiple times? Who here doesn't even want to raise your hand right now? Okay, so you know what it's like. The lights are flashing. You're looking around. What? Oh, no. In order for us to be successful in our lives, in our work, we need to be effective with other people. The better we can connect with them, uh, the more influence and impact we have with them, the more successful we're going to be. Well, if you want influence and impact, you want to be over here, not over there. Over here, I'm open to what you have to say. I hear you. You have influence with me. Over there, none of that is true. Now, if you really do think someone's an idiot, that's a different problem. Raise your hand if you're thinking of somebody right now. <laughs> oh, you're so bad. By the way, I, I would suggest that's your problem, not theirs. But this is just a classic communication gap. You don't really think they're an idiot. You've just somehow given them the impression you do. Connect, then communicate. That's the key to being heard. Now, some people will say, oh, man, come on. I don't want to do that. Seriously, that's the reason I use email in the first place. <laughs> I don't want to do all of that. How are you? How was your weekend? <laughs> How are the kids? Ah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to work with other people. <laughs> but you do. And this is what works. Connect, then communicate. Lead with the relationship. So the question then is, how do they get that way? How does one become one of those people? Is it just inborn? Do you either just have it or not? No. That has not been my experience. From what I've seen, I believe anyone can be one of those people. But, and it's a big but, there's only one way to do it. Reading a book is not going to get you there. Coming to a great conference is not going to get you there, because all those do is they give you more information. But as we already said, information alone does not get us there. What gets us there is taking that information and turning it into action. In other words, working on your communication. Now, some of you may already be there. Some of you may be one of those people. You work on your communication. You feel like you're living up to your potential in all these areas. And if that's the case, uh, I think I can speak for everyone here when I say, we hate you. <laughs> but for the rest of us, this is how we get there. We work on it. 